OG Lee in the house once again, once again. Thank goodness, thank goodness. And you know, <laughs> one day I remember when I was we, I was young, me and my brother, we were like five years old. And uh, my mom said, don't go out. You do not go outside this house. So she eventually went and laid down. And we heard her actually sound asleep, sound like she was snoring. So we went outside. <laughs> And we thought we would just stay out for a little while and come back in before, you know, before she woke up. We were little, the stupid little motherfuckers, right? So when we came back in, right, we considered ourselves because we lived upstairs. So we tipped up the stairs. <laughs> and as soon as we opened the door. <laughs> oh. And so that's how that got straightened out. I remember another time. My mom had fixed me and my brother a big, both of us, a plate of food. Rice, I remember it was beef stew, there was some potatoes on there, vegetables, you know. And she set us down to the table. And over like in the other room, there was this, um, like a chest she had, if you could almost imagine like a, a treasure chest. But she used to keep like linens and things in there. And so me and my brother, we eating, supposed to be eating. And he comes up with the idea that we're going to tell my mom that we finished eating so we can go outside. So we take the plates and we open up the chest and we put our plates there. We, we only ate, didn't eat nothing. We put our plates in the chest, close it. Mom, we finished. We go outside. We come back in. As soon as we hit the door... <laughs> And so that's how that got straightened out. My mom said, y'all don't, don't ride your bike down that way. You can ride your bike from here on down there. Do not ride your bike that way. As soon as my mom, we think she ain't looking what we do. We ride the bike that way. I'm, I got the, I, my sister's on the back. I'm riding her. We go riding down that way. Now I'm down that way. As we go and I look up, there's this old lady, old Puerto Rican lady. I never forget. She would have these Ace bandages wrapped around her legs and always moving real slow. I look up, I'm, I, I lose control. We go barreling straight for the lady. Boom, hit the lady head on, the lady goes down. I, I, I. So, <laughs> you know you're in trouble now, right? So my mom comes, gets us, makes us get the bike. She's apologizing, I mean just, Apologizing, man, apologizing to the old lady. And uh, so, you know how you you know <laughs> when you get home, your mom acting all cool when she's outside, but you know when you get, you know when you get home? Oh, my goodness. So we get the bike upstairs, and <laughs> it's kind of like you and your sister, in this case, you know, you you, you you try to figure out which one is going to cross the threshold first. <laughs> so anyway, however it works itself out, one of us just, just cross the doorway. Just cross the doorway getting inside the house. <laughs> and that's how that got straightened out. I'm not saying harm your kid. I'm just saying, keep them in line so that they respect life and they respect their elders and they follow some kind of order because whatever you teach them is what they're going to learn. This is OG Lee, and I'll see you again soon.